Our Heavenly Father, Creator of all things, Father, you are holy, righteous, glorious, and almighty. We give you all the honor, glory, and praise. In the name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, glory, glory, glory to the Lord. Glory, glory, come on in, come on in, all praise, all honor to God. We clap and praise, we clap in the honoring of the Heavenly Father. We give Him all the glory, all the thanks, and all the praise. Amen, 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 welcome, welcome, welcome. We are, we are in the book of Acts, in the book of Acts, actually, right now, in chapter 26, two more chapters to go, and I hope that you have been following along with me, reading the scriptures, reading the scriptures, all about the journey of Paul, and Paul and his ministry, ministry about the Lord. We see the many things that Paul has gone through, and um, the things that he is going through. And in the, books of, in the book of Acts, as foretold here by Luke. So we are going to start reading Acts chapter 26. And this is verse, verses 1 through 32 in the KJV. So follow along with me or open your Bibles and... Um, I also encourage you, um, after the podcast, to go ahead and um, read up again on Acts 26 and also um, 27 and 28 as we come to the close of the book of Acts. 
Okay, reading, 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 starting with verse 1. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Thou art permitted to speak for thyself. Then Paul stretched forth the hand and answered for himself. I think myself happy, King Agrippa, because I shall answer for myself this day before thee, touching all the things whereof I am accused of the Jews, especially because I know thee to be expert in all customs and questions which are among the Jews. Wherefore, I beseech thee to hear me patiently. Okay, Paul's going to tell his story. My manner of life from my youth, which was at the first among mine own nation at Jerusalem, know all the Jews, which knew me from the beginning, if they would testify, that after the most straightest sect of our religion, I lived a Pharisee, and now I stand and am judged for the hope of the promise made of God unto our fathers, unto which promise our twelve tribes, instantly serving God day and night, hope to come, for which hope's sake, King Agrippa, I am accused of the Jews. Why should it be, though, a thing incredible with you that God should raise the dead? I verily thought with myself that I ought to do many things contrary to the name of Jesus of Nazareth, which thing I also did in Jerusalem, and many of the saints did I shut up in prison having received authority from the chief priest. And when they were put to death, I gave my voice against them. And I punished them oft in every synagogue and compelled them to blaspheme. And being exceedingly mad against them, I persecuted them even unto strange cities." Whereupon, as I went to Damascus with authority and commission from the chief priests, at midday, O king, I saw in the way a light from heaven, above the brightness of the sun, shining round about me, and them which journeyed with me. And when we were all fallen to the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying, in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And I said, Who art thou, Lord? And he said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecutest. But rise and stand upon thy feet, for I have appeared unto thee for this purpose, to make thee a minister and a witness, both of these things which thou hast seen, and of those things in which I will appear unto thee, delivering thee from the people and from the Gentiles, unto whom now I send thee, to open their eyes, and to turn them from darkness to light, and from the power of Satan unto God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins, and inheritance among them, which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Whereupon, O King Agrippa, I was not disobedient unto the heavenly vision, but showed first unto them of Damascus, and at Jerusalem, and throughout all the coast of Judea, and then to the Gentiles, that sh they should repent and turn to God, and do works meet for repentance. For these causes the Jews caught me in the temple, and went about to kill me. Having therefore obtained help of God, I continue unto this day. 
witnessing both to small and great, saying none other things than those which the prophets and Moses did say should come. That Christ should suffer and that he should be the first that should rise from the dead and should show light unto the people and to the Gentiles. And as he thus spake for himself, Festus said with a loud voice, Paul, thou art beside thyself. Much learning doth make thee mad. But he said, I am not mad, most noble Festus, but speak forth the words of truth and soberness. For the king knoweth of these things, before whom also I speak freely. For I am persuaded that none of these things are hidden from him. For this thing was not done in a corner. King Agrippa Believest thou the prophets? I know that thou believest. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Almost thou persuadest me to be a Christian. And Paul said, I would to God that not only thou, but also all that hear me this day were both almost and all together such as I am, except these bonds. And when he had thus spoken, the king rose up, and the governor, and Bernice, and they that sat with them. And when they were gone aside, they talked between themselves, saying, This man doeth nothing worthy of death or of bonds. Then said Agrippa, unto Festus. This man might have been set at liberty if he had not appealed unto Caesar. All right, this is Acts Acts chapter 26, verses 1 through 32. So we will be getting into Acts chapter 27 as... He begins his travels and travels, and we're going to see the things that happen. Um, Traveling is going to be a bit rough. Um, The seas, the waters are not going to be so nice. So we'll read about that coming up next, and I encourage you to read it um, before the podcast so that any understanding or anything that um, you don't have, um, you um, can do your diligent Uh, research and things and any questions any concerns comments praise reports um if you need prayer email me email me email me at faith the email address is faith at glendacoker.org faith at glendacoker.org so i thank you i thank you i thank you for Tuning in, those of you who come back every week, every Tuesday, Thursday, keep your notifications up. And um, I thank you all who come back every week. I thank you all who are listening for the first time. You're welcome, and I welcome you to continue to come on back every Tuesday, every Thursday, 12 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 12 o'clock noon, and um, listen in. And again, any questions, any comments, be sure to email me. Download the show because we know this is internet radio. And the shows don't always stay on forever. Um, sometimes I'll take the shows off the, the main platform, which is Spreaker here. And um, I'll upload them and I'll put them in the archives. And um, there should be a link somewhere uh, where you're listening. And you can go to the archives and... Um, check out um, some podcasts there as well. So they don't always stay on the main portal. But if you download them, you'll have them in your own special library. And you can listen to them on um, um, whatever device that you choose. You'll have it 
You can listen to it at any time. And so I encourage you to download the shows, share the shows. I'll tell others to join the show as well. I thank you all for all over the world, all over the world, just about every part of the world. Um, this podcast here is spread. Um, I know, I'm not sure. I don't know. Um, it's barely a country that has not been touched, um, with this podcast, um, is on internet radio. So I thank you all for your listening support um, and support of helping to spread, to spread the word all over the world. I thank you so, so much, so, so much. And um, those of you who don't know, I am Glenda Coker, Sister G. Um, Minister Glenda, ministering, prophesying, doing the work and the will of the Lord, online, offline, as, and in my everyday life, striving to be more like Jesus, um, as I'm sure a lot of you are, and um, striving to be more like Jesus in my everyday walk of life. And so I pray and hope that you all are, and again, I know that a lot of you are, and um, if you need to come on into the house of the Lord, Come on into the house of the Lord. Be in the kingdom, in the kingdom of the light and not the dark. Come on into the house of the Lord. Ask Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior. Savior. We know John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him, should not perish but have everlasting life. John three sixteen. And right here I am on my website. Go on over to my website www.glenda coker glenda coker g l e n d a c o k e r dot org dot org. And there is a daily scripture there. And go on over and check that out. The daily scripture here today is taken from Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 14, verse 16. And it says, A wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rages, rages, and is confident. A wise man feareth and departeth from evil, but the fool rages and is confident. Proverbs 14, 16. And so a wise man he has fear. He's going to depart from evil. He's not going to do any evil. But the fool is enraged. He's raging. He's, he's very arrogant. He's very confident. And he keeps on and keeps on. So we want to be like the wise man and depart from evil. Right here on my site also is the um, information about the salvation Prayer, salvation, prayer. So I want to encourage you all to come on over to the website and, and check that out. But um, right here, I'll read it to you right now. It says, God gives us the gift of salvation through the offering sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. Through Jesus' birth, life on earth, death and resurrection from the dead, we have the precious gift of salvation. If you are ready to ask him to be the Lord of your life, here are your next steps. Admit you are a sinner in need of forgiveness. Acknowledge that Jesus is the Son of God, and through his death, burial, and resurrection, he paid the price for our sins. Ask him to be the Lord and Savior of your life. Romans chapter 10 verse 9 says that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thine heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. So if you are ready, be encouraged to take a leap of faith and give your life to Jesus Christ. You can pray right now. Doesn't need to be scripted. And if it helps, you may pray this verbally. Pray this verbally. Say this out loud right now with me. 
Dear Lord Jesus, I am a sinner in need of forgiveness. I believe you are the Son of God who died on the cross and rose from the dead for my sins. I ask that you come into my heart as my Lord and as my Savior. I will serve you all the days of my life. In your precious name, Jesus, I pray this prayer. Amen. Now, if you pray this prayer, congratulations. There is much rejoicing in the heavens. In the heavens. Go on over to the site. It tells you to click below. And it says your new life. And it gives you some information on the hope line. On the hope line. Hope line. The hope line dot com. It says your new life in Christ. And go ahead and read this. And it says what's next. It gives you also a free ebook to download. So go on over to my site and check that out. Check that out. So I want to thank you all for tuning in. And I encourage you to come on back. Come on back. And uh, whatever channel you're listening on, on the web, come on back. I'm on all major, minor Uh, Mostly all platforms um, on the internet, radio platforms. So, thank you, thank you, thank you. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we come and we thank you for today. We thank you for being in the midst of your children, your love and your grace that you have for your children. Father God, I know, I know that you do not want one to slip away. Father God, I pray, Father God. Hold all your children in your power. May they come to you, Father, humbly, so that you can do so. Father God, help them see the light. Help them see the light and hold on to the sight. And have faith, because you are right here with them. Help them to learn what it is that you want them to learn. And go forth in your word. I thank you so much for this opportunity Again, I thank you so much for being in the presence of your children today. Hallelujah. Glory, glory to your name. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray this prayer. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you all. So take care and go in peace.